In the e-lecture, e-assessment on the Virtual Linguistics Campus, which I can recommend if you want to find out more about our VLC assessment principles, we discuss, among others, the types of assessment on the VLC, their advantages and the integration of e-assessment into the learning process. The major goal of this video is to show how all VLC online classes, irrespective of whether they are classical online classes or so-called MOOCs, that is Massive Open Online Courses, how they integrate assessment. I will illustrate our balance between efficient and sophisticated testing on the one hand and automatic evaluation and grading on the other. In our online classes, all electronic testing is carried out on the basis of a variety of electronic tests, which we call worksheets. Worksheets are small tasks with a clearly defined topic that can be done and submitted at any time from anywhere. Let us look at the tasks, or if you wish, the worksheet types that are used on the Virtual Linguistics Campus. The simplest type we're using is the multiple choice task, where you have either one or several choices. Such tests can be extended to what we call multiple choice plus, where the choice influences the set of alternatives. Drag and drop tasks are used to associate properties such as word classes or syntactic functions with linguistic elements. Selection and analysis tasks are used when something has to be analyzed into its component parts. Even though the possible answers are still restricted to some extent, the abstraction level on behalf of the user is much higher in such tasks. The same applies to listening tasks, where you hear a sound and have to associate it with a given target, or to pointing tasks, where particular positions on diagrams, maps, etc. have to be marked. Almost free answers are required in so-called input tasks, where questions have to be answered in a simple text format and even more so if this is combined with a special symbolic system and even audio in so-called transcription tasks. All our worksheets are part of their class. One worksheet for each unit. Each worksheet itself is part of its unit start site. It can be loaded via mouse click and consists of an introductory screen which provides specific explanations about the test and includes a link to the test itself which is the start button. But why am I telling you all this? Let's illustrate this with a real worksheet. Okay, here is the class start site of the Massive Open Online course Phonetics, Phonology and Transcription. And I will now illustrate the use of a worksheet on the basis of the second unit labeled consonants. A simple click on its name will load the unit start site. Here it is. And on the unit start site, we find a link labeled worksheet. And a click on this link will load the worksheet. Well, it doesn't directly load the worksheet. First of all, it loads an introductory text which informs you about what you have to do in this worksheet and where you find further information about it. A click on the button Start will load the worksheet into a template, which is the same for all worksheets, irrespective of the worksheet type. So here is a worksheet. And first of all, you will see an introductory text which informs you about what you have to do. The template then has a specific score panel over here and a set of self-explanatory buttons where the start button loads the first question. So let's load the first question. Here we go. Now the first question is a very simple one where we have to associate a particular phonetic symbol with mm, its description and of course this is a symbol for a voiced bilabial trill. If you want to switch off these background noises a simple click on this button will do. Well and now we can answer the questions one by one. We find the place and manner of articulation of 
upper. This is, of course, a bilabial plosive. And so on. And you see, the progress bar, which indicates our progress, is still red. Well, now I've answered five questions correctly, and my current score is 50%. But the progress bar is still red. Here is question number six. Define the place and manner of articulation of T, which is, of course, an alveolar plosive. Well, and now the progress bar is green, indicated, indicating that I have reached 60% or more. Now, to pass a test, we have to score at least 60%. And as soon as we've reached or even are beyond this barrier, the progress bar will change from red to green. But we can continue. Well, and here is the last question. Mark the place and manner of articulation of P, which is, of course, a bilabial plosive. And now, as soon as I press the button ready, watch what will happen. The button changes to finish, and I can now finish the exercise. And now my score has been submitted to the Virtual Linguistics Campus. So once you're ready and have answered all the questions, your score will be saved. And you will receive a confirmation, a direct confirmation, and an additional confirmation via email. That's it. So let's return to the class start site. On the class start site, there is a special link. Currently labeled ungraded worksheets, e-worksheets. I think we will change that in due course to just worksheet. If you click on that link, you will see all your scores as follows. Now here you see my test consonants where I scored 90%. Now this column here indicates my current scores and the column to the right indicates the current high scores of the class. Well, currently I have reached a high score for each unit, probably because no one else has tackled the worksheet in this class. The class hasn't even begun yet. An interesting value is this one. That is my overall worksheet score. Now, this score is relatively low because I haven't done all the worksheets yet. I've only done four out of 12. If I'm not satisfied with any of my worksheet scores, I can do them again, as often as I like. Well, and if I fail, nothing will happen. But if my score is over 60%, the new score will replace the former score, even if the new score is lower. So be careful. You can raise your score, but you can also lower it. And that's it. This is how it works. In an online class, you have a choice. If you just want a standard certificate, active participation will do. However, if you want to be sent a qualified certificate, you have to reach a worksheet average score of 60% or more. Mine is currently 27%, so that's not good enough but there are a number of worksheets for me to do. Well, this is it. I hope I could demonstrate the mechanism of electronic testing in a VLC online class. The backbone of this approach is our system of worksheets. They involve a wealth of testing material, they are evaluated and graded automatically, and they give you the freedom and flexibility of doing them from wherever, whenever you want. And remember, we do not demonize failure. If you don't pass a worksheet straightforwardly, you can do it again, as often as you like. Thank you.